Welcome to D for DevOps. In the previous video we learned about the code development phase in DevOps lifecycle. The link for that video and the playlist will be shared in the video's description. In this video we will learn in detail about version control stage in DevOps. So let's jump into it. The version control stage in DevOps is an important step in the software development process that allows developers to track changes to the codebase and collaborate on code. The use of branches, pull requests, and merge conflicts resolution allows developers to work on different areas of the codebase simultaneously without interfering with each other. The tagging of releases helps to keep track of different versions of the software, and the collaboration and auditing features help to improve the efficiency and quality of the development process. It includes several key activities, which we will go through one by one. 1. Using a version control system, the most widely used version control system is Git, but others such as SVN and Mercurial are also used. These systems allow developers to track changes to the codebase, collaborate on code, and roll back to previous versions if needed. 2. Creating branches. Developers create branches for different features or bug fixes, this allows them to work on different areas of the codebase simultaneously without interfering with each other. 3. Merging branches. Once a feature or bug fix is complete, the developer will merge the branch back into the main branch. This is done through a process called pull request which allows other team members to review the changes before they are merged. 4. Resolving conflicts. If there are any conflicts between the branches, they need to be resolved before the merge can take place. This can be done through a process called Merge Conflicts Resolution which allows the developer to review the conflicts and decide how to resolve them. 5. Tagging releases. As the codebase evolves, it's important to keep track of the different versions of the software. This is done by tagging specific versions of the codebase, which allows developers to easily roll back to a specific version if needed. 6. Collaboration. Version control systems allow developers to collaborate on code, this includes commenting, discussing, and reviewing the code changes with other team members. 7. Auditing and tracking. Version control systems also allow us to track the changes, who made it, when and why, this is useful for auditing and debugging purposes. There are several tools that are commonly used for version control in the development and operations DevOps lifecycle. Some of the most popular include Git, it is a distributed version control system DVCS, that is widely used by developers to manage code changes. It allows multiple developers to work on the same code base simultaneously and merge their changes together. It also has a robust branching and merging feature that allows for easy experimentation and collaboration. Subversion, SVN, it is a centralized version control system that is similar to Git. It allows multiple developers to work on the same code base simultaneously, but it uses a centralized repository to store all changes. Subversion is often used in large organizations with strict security and compliance requirements. Mercurial, it is a distributed version control system that is similar to Git. It has a lightweight and efficient design and is often used by developers who prefer a simpler and more streamlined version control system. Bitbucket, it is a web-based platform that provides Git and Mercurial hosting, as well as issue tracking and collaboration features. Bitbucket allows developers to store their code in private or public repositories, and it offers integration with other tools such as Jira and Trello. GitHub, it is a web-based platform that provides Git hosting, as well as issue tracking and collaboration features. It allows developers to store their code in private or public repositories, and it offers integration with other tools such as Travis C. and Jenkins. SourceForge, 
It is a web-based platform that provides version control and project management tools for developers. It supports a variety of version control systems such as Git, SVN, and Mercurial. It also provides a place for developers to collaborate and share their code with other developers. Visual Studio Team Services Visual Studio is a Microsoft-hosted version control and project management platform that provides Git and SVN hosting, as well as issue tracking, continuous integration and deployment, and collaboration features. It allows developers to store their code in private or public repositories, and it offers integration with other tools such as Visual Studio and Azure DevOps. In summary, these version control tools provide a way for developers to collaborate and manage changes to code over time. They allow for easy experimentation, rollback to previous versions, and maintenance of a history of changes. They also provide a way for different team members to work on the same code base simultaneously, and merge the changes together seamlessly. In the next video we will look into the next phase of DevOps lifecycle that is continuous integration. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.